Heart disease does not spare anybody. It is currently the number one killer all over the world. But as it happens, 80% of the disease burden falls on developing countries. And we have to fight that. The idea was to go to the most neglected part of the country and establish uh, a center to serve the people, particularly the children, but all the others. center of excellence to serve neglected population who have uh, nothing else to go to uh, but also to offer these services at the very highest level free of charge regardless of who they are um, their color creed or whatever uh, and we concentrate mainly on the very poor and desolate patients uh, who happen to have very complex uh, heart disease of any type. Neonatal cardiac surgery is very exact and needs a whole lot of specialized people and particularly one-to-one -one care uh, from the nurses but also from the intensivists, cardiologists and cardiac surgeons. Way solutions. It has to be exact. They do very well eventually if you make sure that everything is done properly. But they're not forgiving. If anything is not perfect, they just die and things happen quickly. All the people working here are hand-picked and they chose themselves as well because they identify with what goes on. And what goes on is a commitment. And that commitment is not nine to five. If it is 3 a.m., we're going to be here at 3, 3 a.m. It's also teamwork. We also have a culture of respecting the patient. Whoever he is, most of our patients are desolate. They really are suffering. They're poor. So the last thing you want to do is to treat them badly. The commitment is also to treat the patient as a human being at the highest level. And that is part of the culture, part of the commitment, part of the hospital, part of AHC. We have to do it. We love to do it. The research program is wide-based. It is integrated with the service, so you have that from bench to bedside and from bedside to bench all the time. So the information in the lab becomes handy for the patient. So research we think of as a necessity. It is not a luxury. We are a charity. We accept donations. We want to raise in excess 
of 250 million dollars to keep the center can live or at least 70 percent of the expense of the center will be guaranteed forever because we're very conscious that the center must continue so that's his vision and the dream for the future.